just a quick message. It is every evangelist's duty to preach the gospel on the streets, in the supermarket, while you're getting your car fixed at the auto shop, while you're shopping in the mall. In other words, wherever you are and wherever you go, let the light of Jesus shine in you. Let the world see that light that Jesus has put inside of you. Because he is the light. He is the guiding light for everybody to see. Let them see that light of Jesus inside of you, wherever you are. Amen. Doesn't matter if you don't go on the street corners and evangelize. You can evangelize anywhere you go. At your job, at the library. You know what I'm saying? Wherever you are. I know that uh, evangelizing on the streets isn't for everybody. But God has a purpose for everybody in their lives. You know? You have a mission. You have a, a, a purpose in, in life. You know what I'm saying? And that's doing God's will. Whatever he has for you in your life, he, he'll let you know. Don't worry me. He'll let you know. That's if you want it. You know what I'm saying? Don't be one of those lazy Christians that just sit at home and watch Netflix and drink soda and eat popcorn. You know, Netflix and chill. Not. You know, you got to uh, think about your brothers and sisters on the streets that need to hear the word of God, that need to come to Jesus. And they won't come to Jesus unless they hear. Because truth comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. Am I right about it? You know what I'm saying? That's my calling. That's what I, I live for. It. I live for evangelizing. I love going out. I love preaching the word. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what God has for me in my life. That's my calling. That's what he has called me to do. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to go out and preach the gospel and be an evangelist. You can be... There's many, um, the five-fold ministry, God has five-fold ministry, you know what I'm saying? But uh, when you don't pre when you preach about it, you don't have to force it on people. You don't have to shout it out and, and condemn people. You, you don't have to criticize anyone, you know, because we're not there to condemn. We're not there to criticize anyone. We love everybody. We love everybody. We preach the gospel to everybody. We don't condemn you. Because why would we do that when we were in the same spot that you're in? The sinner, I mean, you know, the sinner. We were in the same spot that the sinner was, you know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't have came to Jesus if I walked by and hear people, con Christians condemning me. No, that would have turned me away. You know what I'm saying? I said, uh, mm. they know it's going to make me feel worse than I already feel. No, you just got to show the love of Jesus. Let them know that Jesus loves you, but he hates your sin. You know what I'm saying? But he still loves you, and he can take your sin away from you. Or in some cases, your sins. Whatever, your sin or your sins. You know what I'm saying? He'll take it away from you, and he will love you, and he'll mold you, and create you, create you into your new heart. You be a new creation and you'll be saved from the decimation of this wicked nation. They want to hear love. They don't want to hear hate. They don't want to hear condemnation. Because Jesus said, I have not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Save the world. Amen. So when you are go out and preach the gospel, preach out of love. Show them the love of Jesus. Let them know that there is a chance for them and that today could be their day of salvation. Amen. You have a better chance of somebody coming to you and asking for, for uh, baptism, by asking to be baptized or asking to know Jesus if you preach about the love that Jesus has for them, the love of Jesus. That's why you got to let that light shine. You know, don't be 
don't don't be uh, condescending. Don't convict. The Holy Spirit will convict them. Our job is to preach and tell them the truth. You know what I'm saying? That's our job. God does the rest. We preach the word. We plant the seed. God waters the, the seeds, the plants and stuff, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We just go out there and plant the seed. God does the rest. You know what I'm saying? They can either turn to Jesus or keep walking. You know what I'm saying? That's not our concern. What we do is preach the gospel. That's our main job. That's the job. That's the job of our jobs. Preach the gospel. Let the word be heard throughout the world. You heard? <laughs> All right, now, y'all have a blessed day.